Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the Whirlwind leveling build for the Barbarian. A lot of people are excited to play the Whirlwind build because of how strong it is, but also because of how easy it is. And it's very fun to just right-click or hold right-click and just continually kill everything around you. And that's what today's focus is going to be on. So we're going to show you the build that really decimates the enemies in Diablo 4 and how you can level quickly with this build. So to start off, you can see here, we are on this gear and skill section. These are going to be the primary legendary aspects you're going to want to get, and that is going to start us off with the aspect of Ancestral Echoes. Damaging enemies with Leap, Upheaval, or Whirlwind has up to a 40-50% to 50 chance to summon an Ancient to perform the same skill. Can only happen once every five seconds. However, that's going to be very, very strong. We're going to want that on our gloves for sure. Next up, we have the Edge Masters aspect. This is another legendary aspect to look out for while you are leveling up in Diablo 4. Skills deal up to 10 to 20% increased damage based on your available primary resource when cast, receiving the maximum benefit while you have full primary resource. So again, guys, I do want to say these are really, really strong, and this one is unlocked by completing Old Stones in Skulls Glen. Next up here, we have the aspect of Dire Whirlwind. Of course, this is going to be what we're going to want. Whirlwind's critical strike chance is increased by 5 to 10% for each second it is channeled, up to 20 to 40%, unlocked by completing Gar and Hold in Skosglen. Again, another very, very needed for the Whirlwind build legendary aspect. That's going to be on the amulet. So next up, the important aspect we are going to be looking at on the first string is going to be called the aspect of Echoing Fury. Unlocked by completing Sirocco Caverns and Kajistan. This is your shout skills generate 2 to 4 fury per second while active. Very big for fury generating. And this is going to continually help you use your whirlwind as much as possible. Restore 1 to 4 of your primary resource when you crowd control an enemy. Unlocked by completing champions demise in dry steps. All right, guys, we are through some of the legendary aspects. However, in the bottom, we do have gems. So you are going to want to take the Sapphire on your weapon for increased critical strike damage to crowd-controlled enemies. And on the jewelry, we are going to be taking the 250 armor, and that's going to be the Skull Gem. Of course, you can change these up. These aren't as important if you want to kind of test different things out in your armor. Uh, these are the skills we're going to be taking, by the way. If you guys didn't realize, we have Rallying Cry, War Cry, Wrath of the Berserker, Leap to Rank 5, Lunging Strike, and of course, Whirlwind to Rank 5 as well. We are going to be using the Two-Hand Sword. And uh, with that, let's go into the skill tree. This is going to be where you're going to actually see more about the build itself. So, of course, we're going to be taking Battle, Lunging Strike, and Enhanced Lunging Strike on top of our Lunging Strike basic ability. From there, we're going to come down and we're going to take Whirlwind to level 5, Enhanced Whirlwind and Furious Whirlwind as well. And then we're also going to be taking Pressure Point. This is going to be a passive skill that your core skills have up to a 30% chance to make enemies vulnerable for 2 seconds. Very, very strong. If we go over to some of the other skills that we're going to take, it's going to be Rallying Cry with the bonuses of Enhanced Rallying Cry and Tactical Rallying Cry. Again, generating Fury is very important in this build as we quickly go through it. So if you guys want to kind of slow this video down, you definitely can do so. Obviously, pausing the video and reading more about this as you click your skills and things of that nature. But I want to jump into the next skill. This one's an important one. War Cry. So bellowing mighty War Cry, increasing your damage dealt by 15% for 6 seconds. So that's going to increase your damage, of course. We're going to have the Enhanced War Cry, which grants you Berserking. And then we're also going to take this, so 15% base life as Fortify with the Mighty War Cry. Now we go back to two more passives, Booming Voice and Raid Leader. Very, very strong in this build. We're also going to be taking Leap. So Leap is going to be maxed out to 5 level five that is and then we're going to be taking enhanced leap and power leap from there we're also going to be taking the aggressive resistance we're going to take battle fervor we're going to take prolific fury these are all very good passives that continually help us increase our fury generation and damage we also are going to take no mercy and pit fighter all the way to rank three or level three we're also going to take the hamstring passive, so your bleeding effects slow enemies by 10%. That's just going to increase crowd control for us. We're also going to be taking your bleeding effects deal 18% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. This works really well because we're going to continually have them vulnerable, and then we're going to add some bleeding effects that do even more damage to those vulnerable enemies. So a very, very good combination of abilities and skills here. Now we go down to some more of the abilities that we're going to take. 
Wrath of the Berserker is one of the obvious ones. You're going to explode in rage and basically do tons and tons of damage. We're also going to take the passives Prime Wrath and Supreme Wrath. We're also going to take the passive Heavy Handed. So while you use that two-handed weapon, you're going to deal increased critical strike damage. That's going to be 15% increased critical strike damage at rank 3. So definitely make sure you're using that two-handed weapon to complete this build. We also have the Unconstrained as our final ability. This one's going to increase Berserk's maximum duration by 5 seconds and increase its damage bonus by 25%. So that's going to be most of the skills that we're going to be taking with the Whirlwind leveling build. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.